What's going on guys? Comes right back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today we have some huge, some monumental news. Of course you guys already know by the title, a brand new Immortal has been released for the month of November, the rank seasons and it is a little bit of a curveball. It is not who we all expected. It's something different but I am very, very happy with it and I think you guys will be as well. Our brand new Immortal is going to be none other than postseason legend Clinton Kershaw. As you guys can see right here November rank seasons immortal finest player rewards as well but you, you you guys know what we came here for 99 immortal Clayton Kershaw I all think we thought that it was gonna be Justin Verlander I know I definitely thought we were gonna get JV but Clayton Kershaw is definitely someone who I'm happy to see because you know all jokes aside with the whole postseason situation Clayton Kershaw is one of the greatest pitchers to ever play um you know he's been one of the best regular season starting pitchers ever that we've ever seen and even though he had a little bit of a down year this year you cannot you know you cannot just erase history that he was a bother he was one of the best pitchers that we've seen once again and uh, I really do think he deserves this immortal card so uh let's get into those stats Woo! here we go Clayton Kershaw as you guys already know he is a lefty which for some people you guys may not like that personally I think I only have one lefty in my entire rotation because there is a lot of really good right-handed hitters this, uh, this year finally they have been adding some you know good lefty bats so hopefully that'll kind of put some you know lineup differential but definitely there is a lot of righties so you have to think do you really want to use a lefty pitcher but Clayton Kershaw as you guys can see he's got a fastball a slider a 12-6 a change up and a sinker um, of course he doesn't throw the hardest in the world but you know he has really good velocity differentials he has a good break right there as you guys can see um, you know just really really good stats of course all around the board he's gonna be accurate he's got a good hit and K9 both over a hundred well over uh, well over a hundred as is his stamina and I mean he honestly just looks like a really good card I do like his pitches he does have a changeup which has a pretty good differential between the fastball because that's usually what you want to look for um, because of course out of the hand you guys already know if you play baseball out of the hand a fastball and a changeup look pretty similar but the really big differential is going to be the velocity difference between the two but you want at least a 10 mile an hour difference and of course Clayton Kershaw does have that but honestly the stats he looks like a really good card personally I don't think I've used his live series card much ever because usually it's been a 99 and besides this year I really haven't been trying to get to the collector or Award, but this court looks really really good next looking at kind of the season outlook of course um, I think the stubs are pretty much the same I believe World Series last time was 25,000 stubs as well 13,000 XP and 1500 tickets for getting to World Series which of course I think is pretty good to be honest with you you do get of course 99 Immortal Clayton Kershaw the 85 to 89 live series sellable on um, diamond of course four stand museum ba uh, baseball autographs six souvenir packs and you also do get a finest pack um i'm gonna try and look to see if uh he it is sellable the finest player is sellable so thank you for thank you for making it sellable because if it was not sellable i i would lose a lot of interest in it but the fact that it is sellable there are a lot of finest players that still go for a lot and hopefully the fact that they also go down to division series thank you SES. Um, I kind of thought maybe they were only going to do it for World Series, but they do it for World Series, Championship Series, and Division Series. So that means if you get to Division Series, you have a chance of getting, you know, Mookie Betts' finest player. And he is sellable, of course. So what I really like about that is it is going to bring prices down pretty drastically for the finest player. So I'm very happy about that. Otherwise, everything else looks pretty much the same. But um, Clayton Kershaw, honestly, getting to World Series, I really am going to try and I actually mean it this time because the rewards are really good a finest player a live series diamond which you know isn't going for that much at this rate anymore but Clayton Kershaw who once again the only way that you guys are going to be able to get Clayton Kershaw is by getting World Series this card is not going to be on the market so if you want him you're 
gonna have to reach the 900 rating threshold and get to World Series. That is the only way that you're gonna get 99 Immortal Clayton Kershaw. And finally, I just want to wrap it up. We are going to look at the developer Q and A. Of course, this is always just questions that they answer about regarding the game. Any new stuff that is going to be coming. When will we receive rank seasons and rewards for October? The October rank seasons rewards will be distributed tonight at midnight. So if you guys are on the lookout, if you want, if you did make World Series and you are expected to get that Ryan Sandberg, you guys will be able to get him tonight. Um, is there a roster update this week? Yes, the final roster of the season is scheduled for Thursday, November 1st. So it is actually tomorrow. I'm not going to have a roster predictions out because it's just too late at this point. It's really not going to do any justice for you guys. But keep in mind, there will be a roster update coming out tomorrow, the final one of the season. There should be some big shape, uh, some big shakeups, I would assume. Um, when will we see the 2018 postseason program? And can you explain how it will work? <sighs> Look for the new 2018 postseason program missions and flashbacks next week in Diamond Dynasty. Similar to the Future Star programs, you will start with a free postseason flashback to redeem. From there, you will play with the flashbacks to continue unlocking more. Every team in the 2018 postseason is represented with at least one flashback. Thank you. And there will not be any requirements to purchase items from the community market or show shop. Thank you, thank you. Completing the 2018 postseason program will earn you 60% towards the Immortal program for Trout, Eckersley, and Brett. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This does mean you do not have to complete the finest program or as actually, you don't have to even touch the finest program to be able to get Mike Trout because of course, if you guys already did the Future Star program, you got to 40% to get George Brett. So as long as you guys finish this, which you guys do not have to spend any stubs on it whatsoever, you will be able to get Michael Bartholomew Trout. So thank you so much. I am really happy about that. Um, also, when does three times stub end so you can earn triple stubs for playing games in MLB The Show 18 until Friday, November 2nd. And finally, will there be more events after the World Series event ends on November 7th? Yes, many more. The next one will have an MVP flashback reward plus Stan Musio souvenirs for his Immortal program. And that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Like I said, 99 Immortal Clayton Kershaw coming into the game. There will be a roster update. The final attribute roster to upgrade is coming tomorrow on um, November 1st as well tomorrow or rather midnight tonight you guys will be able to get uh your October season's reward. So if you guys did make some progress in that, go ahead and claim them tonight at midnight. And then also the postseason program, you guys do not have to sweat it. You guys will not have to spend any stubs. I will probably be coming out with something talking about how or not necessarily how, but who I think is going to get the cards. Of course, um, they did say every single team will be represented, which I'm really happy about that. But also keep in mind, guaranteed, I assume guaranteed would be the highest overall card would be Steve Pierce who won World Series. MVP, but very excited for that to come out. They did say next week is going to be the arrival date. They did not say exactly when, but all we do know is next week. Maybe they will do another Twitch stream on that. I do not really know, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like down below. Hope you guys subscribe. And there it guys comes out. Yeet.